Moving on to some other news now. The political war over food prices intensifies. While the BJP claims it's the hoarding that is to be blamed, the Congress has slammed the Modi government, saying the BJP made false promises during elections. And amidst this bickering, it's only the common man who is left to suffer. The union food minister's explanation blaming hoarders, expectedly not cutting ice with the opposition. You see, the, all this talk about hoarding is a lot of absolute, in my opinion, gobbledygook. Because the reason, because the reason why prices are going up is not on account of cereals alone. It's going up on account of fruits, vegetables, milk, eggs, meat products, which are perishable. When we came out with explanations, neither the media not the people of this country believed us. Now they have put the, the man of their choice at the helm of affairs. He should deliver. But the BJP not taking the accusations lying down, sticking to its stand that hoarding and black marketing is to blame. Last five years we couldn't control it. This government is in office for less than five weeks. So what was not done in five years we expect to do it in five weeks. But while political tussle intensifies, once again it is the Ahmadmi who is suffering the consequences. Because if they are not able to control the prices of the basic ingredients, vegetables like potatoes and onion, which is skyrocketing, I don't know what good days they had promised to the people of India. If you are excessively obsessed about Sensex and FII only, if you are not going to be concerned about an average, ordinary person, and this problem will persist. But with India's Essential Commodities Act not covering essential items like onions and potatoes, what punishment do hoarders really face? Congress is not amused. They are saying that when the UPA gave the same reasons, the BJP was relentless in its attack on them. And now, if this is the best that the NDA can come up with, then what was the promise of Achedin that they had made during their election campaign? Was it nothing more than rhetoric? There is a law to prevent hoarding and black marketing, but conviction and punishment under Essential Commodities Act is so low that it hardly acts a deterrent for hoarders. They had promised relief, but as the Ahmadmi struggles to combat skyrocketing prices, is NDA's biggest promise turning out to be its biggest letdown? Bureau Report, Times Now.